So good evening, good evening, good evening. It is match day. Match day is upon us. Uh, Arsenal away to Crystal Palace this evening. And uh, I will be doing a watch along for that. So make sure you come and join us. Uh, me and Ola uh, will be live and direct for that watch along. Um, I am on with Henry right before that, quarter to six UK time. I'm going to do an hour and 15 minutes and then straight afterwards, bosh, we're straight on here. Just dropped a video about how shambolic Man United are on the second channel. That channel is flying just over 300 away from 20k. Do subscribe to Lee Reacts. I want that channel to be the main channel. Yeah, because I get very angry talking about Arsenal. I don't get angry talking about other clubs. Uh, so if you could uh, get that channel up to about 50k, then we can slow down on this one. That'd be great. Um, but um, make sure you are liking this, this video. Make sure you are subscribing to this channel, nearly on 86k. Uh, so thank you very much to everybody who has subscribed already. Uh, 85.645, uh, that is fantastic. Uh, make sure you are leaving your comments and super chats down below as well. And like I said, I will be doing a watch along on here later tonight. Uh, but we're going to talk about Nicola Pepe. Uh, he will not be joining Brigitas, uh, despite previous reports that he'd agreed terms with him. The latest updates are saying that he's uh, not going to the Turkish Super League side and um, that he had no agreement in place in the first place, which just goes to show, really, that half of these transfer rumours are complete and utter trash. Um, but where does he go? 72 million quid we paid for him in 2019, made 112 appearances for Arsenal. Um, and the, the lack of disrespect for this guy is mad. I don't get it. Yes, he's not been world class. But we've got other players at this football club that have been just as bad, if not worse, that get protected. And there's a few of them. Fabio Vieira's been worse than him. Oh, but he's younger. And what? Age only comes into it when you want to protect a player for poor performances. Nicola Pepe actually done all right for Arsenal. You know, I wouldn't say he was great, but he done all right. And I'll tell you something, won a trophy at Arsenal. Won a trophy and played great in the final and the semi-final. But that, that's not allowed to be said, is it? Uh, but there we go. But anyway, um, the Arsenal family, the Arsenal family, because apparently we're all a family, good one, um, made Nicola Pepe train on his own. Well away from Colney. Wasn't allowed to Colney to train. But now he's now back in training. So what does that mean? Well, well I'm kind of scratching my head like, hmm. So you didn't want him in training. You didn't want him anywhere near the preseason tours. You didn't want him near any squads. You've made him train away from the camp, but now he's allowed back into the camp. If I was him, I'd say bollocks. But I do think he is going to leave. But is there a way back for Pepe? Is Probably not with our fan base, because they are a very weird bunch. Um, not all of them. There is some sane ones out there. Uh, but overall... Most of our fans, especially the online fans, are extremely special. Extremely special. And they've already cast Pepe away. Um, we do need a right winger to help Saka out. I believe we got we got Reese Nelson. Yeah, we got Reese Nelson. Reese Nelson's a left winger, but there we go. Um, we like to do inverted stuff at Arsenal, don't we? So uh, it is what it is. Uh, let me know whether you think Pepe should have another chance. Um, me personally, why not give him a go? Why not? Is he better than Reese Nelson? I'd say yes. So on that basis, I'm giving him a go then. Because if Reese is in the squad, why is he not? Uh, but anyway, uh, people won't like to hear that because most people don't like the truth. They don't like the fact that I speak my truth. My truth. It's not your truth, it's my truth. You can have your truth in the comments. Uh, so if you don't like the fact that I want Pepe back in the squad, just tell me why. Tell me why you don't think he's any good. So they're crying. Uh, but why haven't we got rid of any of the dead wood yet? It's another question that needs answering. We are literally 10 days away from the transfer window, slamming shut. And Rob Holden is still here. Cedric Suarez is still here. Nuno Tavaj is still here. Rob Holden is still here. Kim and Tierney is seen as dead wood by this fan base, even though they made a song up about him. Tierney at the back, Gabby in attack. We're on our way to champ. Oh, it was Europa League, wasn't it? Sorry, my bad. Yeah. But now they want him cast aside. I don't really get it. So if we're looking to get rid of these players, Sambula Conga's another one. 
Why haven't we done it yet? And this is what winds me up with the transfer window. Listen, we've started well with the transfer window. Cool. But we've stagnated now. We've now lost one of our signings. The goalkeeper's one for one because Turner's gone goalkeeper in, one for one. Xhaka out, Rice in, that's one for one. Simba's out injured, so we can't count him until next summer. So we've actually only squad depth, one extra player. Kai Havertz. So I don't really get this notion that we've had a great window. It's not been a great window at all. Declan Rice, cool. I'm happy with him. I'm happy with the goalkeeper. I'm happy with Timber, albeit he's now injured. Kai Havertz, not for me. I ain't backing you at all, mate. You prove to me you you deserve to be here, and then we'll consider backing it, innit? I ain't just one of these to go, oh, now he's wearing the shirt. We have to blindly back him like little sheep. <laughs> no, it don't work like that. Not for me, anyway. You prove you're good enough to play here over a consistently long basis, and then I'll back it. How about that? But you're not allowed to say that because that's toxic and negative. Jesus Christ, these people are so fragile, it is mad. I don't understand how they've got through life. Um, but the Deadwood are still here. If you actually go through it, Cedric's on about 90 grand a week. No wonder he don't want to leave. Rob Holding, cheerleader. He ain't going anywhere. Who wants him? Nobody. Who wants Suarez? Nobody. Why can't we get rid of our player? Why does no Saudi club want our players apart from Thomas Party? Because Thomas Party, we had a bid for 30 million rejected. We rejected the 30 million bid from a Saudi club literally the other day. So why is it only Thomas Party? Out of all of our players, the Deadwood, because again, Thomas Party was considered Deadwood by a large part of this fan base until recently. Oh, yeah, get rid of him. He's no good because they got the shiny new toy turn up in Declan Rice and Kai Havertz. Oh, he was misunderstood at Chelsea. No, he weren't. He was crap. You can't polish a turd. <laughs> like, let's just be real with it. Yeah, none of our Deadwood seems to be um, being eyed up by any club in Saudi. So where does that leave us? Nottingham Forest wanted Nuno Tavaj. That's fallen through. Aston Villa now want him. Want him. Luca Digna is um, apparently leaving as well. I do think that deal will get done, but I don't think it'll be for the 30 million touted that Forest to pay. I think with anything over 20 million, I think that's great business because he ain't worth 20 quid. You know, 20 million, that's mad. Even if it ain't 20, even if it's just more than we paid for him. Sweet. Happy days. Um, Samba Laconga. Linked with Burnley. Off you go then, son. Off you go. It was Vincent Company who managed you before, gassed you up into oblivion. See, everyone re-jumped on board. And now all of our fans are, oh, we've got Samuel Conga, the next Vieira. Well, that went well, didn't it? Fabio Vieira. He needs to leave as well. I've seen enough of this guy to know he ain't good enough. But again, what will happen is we'll keep him. He'll stink the season out as well. And they'll give him another go because he's just, oh, he's so young. Where was this with Pepe when he signed? Where was this allowing poor performance after poor performance to go under the radar? And give him another go. He's just misunderstood. There was none of that. So if your face fits, your face fits. And if your face don't fit, you're out the door with this fan base. Cool. Got it. Got ya. Got ya. Okay. But we do need to get rid of some of these players. And listen, if you add up the fees that we could get, Balogun's another one. 40 million for Balogun. How much are we getting for Tavaj? Let's say 20. There's 60 million. We've already got 20 for Xhaka, 10 for Turner, 8 for, Mar um, for what's his name? Marie. Got a few million for Trusty, 5 million, I think. So we made quite a bit of money if we get that Balogun and Tavaj money in there. Then the Lakonga one, get rid of Cedric, maybe get rid of Pepe. All of a sudden, we're looking at about 100 million. Yeah, the fact that we loaned David Raya was a bit worrying. Oh, we're struggling for FFP. How? How are we struggling for FFP, but Chelsea are blitzing a billion? How does that make sense? I don't get it. But anyway, let me know what you think. Will we be signing any more players as well? I'd love to know whether you think we're getting new players in, because I don't see how we're getting new players in if we're struggling with FFP. Unless, unless we're going to get rid of these players and then go, bang, one big signing. Uh, I don't know who that may be, but I feel like we need a striker. Said it all summer. Said it before this season ended. We need a striker. Um, I still think that is the case. And I still think that Ivan Tony today is saying um, in, a, in an interview that he's a Liverpool fan, which we knew, but he enjoyed watching Arsenal as he was growing up. Go and sign me him. Because in 10 days' time, that guy can come back to training. Go and sign me him. I want Ivan Tony at Arsenal. Um, so, yeah, make sure you... Um, 
leave your comments down below. Let me know your thoughts on Ivan Tony. Do you think he's good enough for Arsenal? Is he the guy that can take Arsenal to the title? Me personally, I think he's sick. Yeah, and I think if we go and get a top striker that could bag 20, 25 goals, then I do think that we are very, very close to winning a title this season. However, if we do not go and get that 20, 25 goal striker, unfortunately, my friends, we're winning nada. And on that bombshell, I'm wrapping this up. I'm back with Henry Wright, quarter to six tonight. I'm a poet, I fully know it. Then I'm back with a watch along straight afterwards with Ola, looking forward to the game. And um, leave it all in the comment section. Smash the like button, sub to the channel. Make sure you share the content around. Check out the second channel, Lee Reacts. Go and sub to that channel. I want it on 20K this week. Uh, so bless up to all of you that have subbed to that. And uh, we're out of here. Adios.